Rex preventing the backs from blackmail me and using my criminal record against me. Message. Someone left a message on Bacta's voicemail. Hey, can you check that voicemail message? Okay. Baxter, I told you, you're off the case. Now we need all the files in that psychic's book in my office, now. Rex was still asking for the book, so it is probably still in here somewhere. Good. Motion commendation. Man, he was so proud of making detective. Serve and protect. Better graduated. Back to graduate from the academy two years before I did. Okay, so I guess he had been a cop for two years before you were. Terror of 1692, Salem's disgrace. Bax has been reading about Salem's history. Doesn't seem like something he would care about. Maybe he was actually seeing something no one else was. Bragging? So that's what Baxter does in his free time, huh? Take it out of town? What? Why would Baxter leave town? That's a good question. Come on! We have to find that journal. What caused that mark on the wall? Matches gun and printed shadow projected. Matches body outline, writing, drawn, stain. Gun rack really opens, actually opens on hinges, like it's covering a secret compartment or area. Well, that pretty much uh, tells us what we need to know. There must be a Hidden latch lever. inside that opens inward. I tell the girl. I think I found it. Show me. There's a button on the side of the gun rack. Yes, this is it. Oh, please tell me you understand what all these symbols are. Yep, yeah, some of them. That's weird. The last thing she wrote is he knows about me. Oh, God, that means he was after her. You don't know that. Come on, we should move. Oh, crap. Wait, what is that? The museum. That's strange. Why would this be in her book? I don't know. Just, just take it and figure it out later. She's here somewhere. I'll check here. Head toward the back office. We gotta go. Stay out of sight. Go, go! Now they're actually searching for us, so that this might be a little bit more difficult now. Salem's History Museum, Gallifier, why would this be in her mother's book? Question. Machine? Go, 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 go. Okay, that was easy. Pretty much walked right. That was just one guard, really. I 
need to make sure the coast is clear. Rex. Who's that? Cop you need to avoid. All right, you're gonna need to make a break for that room over there, but wait for my signal. Hey, LT, hold up. You know what this fire drill's all about? Go, go, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's a fire drill. <laughs> yeah, I'll check after we catch him. Hey, uh, you know, okay, I just wanted to say that uh, you know, Rowan, he was, uh, he was top notch. He wore his badge of honor. No, I hate it when people lie to me. I'm not lying. I just, you know, it's the only reason to tramp on his grave. Well, he wore the badge because he thought it was intimidating, right? Because he thought it would make up for all the crap he did when he was younger. Make it right or better. Or maybe prove to the guys around here that he wasn't the guy they thought he was. You know what? I heard the rumor, Sarge. I know a lot of the guys thought he lived his life on the so, wrong side of the prison. So, no, no, it's, not it's everyone. Hard. It's okay. Like Look, no. I understand. But at least he was honest, huh? He would look you in the eyes and he would tell you exactly what he thought, right? I'm here to tell you that sort of bravery is a rare thing these days. I mean, you have much to be proud of. At least he didn't try to hide who he was. I'm yeah, sorry, sir, but uh, it's been hard on everyone. What did I just say about lying to me? <laughs> That Rex guy, I like him. <laughs> I can see why she, she would need to avoid him, though. Rob, what is this place? The all killer war room. Everything we know about the case so far. Well, I got what I need, so. See hey, ya. If you keep trying to do this alone, you're gonna get yourself killed. How would I just leave it as. Oh, you won. Crap. Bitch. Okay. Still need to do some things here because I didn't have all, I didn't find all of those gun pieces. Jennifer Gelbach, female white, slim bill, last seen by friends in Ashland Hill Cemetery after party with fellow Charlie. Is missing two days. Oh, she's probably dead. Those last two gun pieces gonna be. One more to go. the hell okay that was just weird do what you gotta do I'll be fine the hell isn't this me oh yeah memory See what happened here. I can still remember my first day on the force. Salem PD was in this tiny building on the edge of town. It was old, crowded, and completely insufficient to handle the day-to-day -day operations. Protecting Salem was getting harder and harder. But finally, the city decided to convert the old armory into our new headquarters. And when we finally moved in, I couldn't believe how big and modern the place was. Not bad for one of the first buildings in Salem. 
Plus, it just felt right. It used to be the city's first line of defense in a wild frontier, and now it had resumed its post once again, only this time in a modern world. The first week was a little chaotic as we settled in. One officer reported that someone had removed his gun from his locker. It took him 20 minutes to track it down, and when he did, he found it leaning against the wall in one of the unoccupied offices. Also, the late-night station operator reported a strange phone malfunction. Occasionally, when someone would call in to report a shooting, the recording would just stop. The call would cut out, and the voice of the panic caller would just loop over and over again until the phone was unplugged. Soon it was pretty clear that these strange occurrences weren't just honest mistakes or faulty phone lines. One evening, the medical examiner came running down the hall in tears. She noticed that her scalpels and other tools had gone missing. She went to get more from the cabinet, but stopped cold at what she saw in the reflection. A ghostly silhouette of a Civil War soldier was standing over one of the corpses. She spun around, it was gone. She barely noticed how cold the room had gotten before running off. Of course, the guys didn't believe her. Hell, I didn't either. Until I saw it with my own eyes. I was working late and got up to get more coffee. As I rounded the corner, I saw it in the reflection of the trophy case. It was staring right at me. He lifted an old ghostly rifle and pulled the trigger. The trophy case fractured into a spider web of cracked glass and I, I took off running. The captain didn't believe me and docked my next paycheck to replace the glass. I didn't care if people thought I was crazy. I know what I saw. People sometimes ask me if anyone else has seen it since or if the specter still roams the halls. I was telling the same thing. I wouldn't know. I transferred to Boston. <laughs> that was a. That one was kind of meh. It wasn't that great. It's time to get the hell out of this place. Now, where was the exit again? I think this way. It'd be cool if we actually saw that thing though randomly like just floating around. What are you guys just standing here for? Do your jobs. can't get away that easy. If you care about the case so much, find your own damn clue. You won't find your mother without me. What? <laughs> Seriously, this girl's starting to become a little bit annoying. Like, what? You, can, you only have to benefit from working with me. There is literally no downside. So, like, grow the fuck up, man. Sorry, this is why I'll probably never have kids, because there's like a 90% chance that they'll be fucking stupid. What would make her help me? Witness mother's note, runaway witness, killer's motive, killer's identity, witness's destination, powerful scream, witness's mother is missing. Oh. Oh. 